Hey guys, and welcome back to The Evil Within. When we last left off, we had to fight a crazed McNeil, and we pretty much exhausted all of our weapons and ammo supplies. However, now we must go and smash his machine. Let's have a look first, though, because we need some serious equipment. Oh, hang on. Flamethrower. Yes. Alrighty then, this odd weapon can be used to quickly fill an area with flaming liquid. This heavy and cumbersome enough to restrict movement, fuel will be loaded into the flamethrower immediately on crafting. Hmm, okay. So... So... There we go, flame for a fuel. Um, right, so the flamethrower has a maximum load. Okay. Curious, how much? We've got 59. Let's make some more explosive bolts because these things are pretty damn badass. Uh, we need some more handgun bullets. Let's go with 10 for now. And we shall call that that. Uh, weapon upgrades. We can't upgrade the flamethrower, which is interesting. Alright. Disappointing game. Disappointing. So close to being able to afford that. We can actually afford the critical too. So why not? Why the devil not, guys? What else can we do? Reload time. Fire rate might be nice. Can't quite afford that either. Okay. Well, that shall do for now. How much gel do we have? I think, if I remember correctly, we were so close. So close to the uh, gel requirement. But, um, yes, we need uh, 250 more gel. And then it's happy days, guys. Happy days. Oh, yeah. Hello. Right. Let's go in here, then. Might be... Beneficial to put some bullets in the gun. Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? Why is he doing it? Head of recruitment, that's going on convenient. That know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. Yeah. Tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. We're not gonna let that happen, Sab. We are not gonna let that happen. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. But we've got a freaking flamethrower, man. I'm not totally sure. But it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian. I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it, too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. Sounds like a plan. Well, uh, good thing we knew that lady. She knows how to get shit done. <sighs> Ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. All right. Talk to Esmeralda when you're ready to arm the explosives. Yes, we will. Let's just have a look around here. See if there's any. Whoa! Look at all these candles. Where the hell did you get candles from? Bloody hell. Well, let's not worry about that too much. Oh, hello. You're mine. Thank you. Anything else? Seriously? So it's just like some weapon parts? Ah, I guess the key was cool. But... That looks like it. Alright, Tor Torres. Torres? Torres. Tell me something, Torres. Hoffman. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? 
I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. Very true. You're trapped in here like the rest of us. So you're not sure? Ah, yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have <laughs> trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. Hmm, understandable. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. Precisely. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. Very true. What are you doing in Mobius? No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. Makes I was sense. Passed some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and if you disobey, when Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left, despite the things that I've had to do. All right, <clears throat> um, let's go back. See if we can talk to her for a I bit need first. To clarify a few things for me, Hoffman. Esmeralda. You seem surprised to see Esmeralda here. Why should I be? She's a familiar face in STEM. Everybody knows everybody in Mobius, huh? More like I know everybody. I've been in charge of new hire evaluations for years. Like one big dysfunctional family. <laughs> Esmeralda's the best person to have around in dangerous situations. She's a good soldier. I've noticed. Damn right I am. I've uh, <clears throat> definitely noticed. I assume you know Myra too? I do. We work together closely. How could she do this? How could she stand by while they conducted experiments on Lily? How could she tell Lily that I was dead? Myra's maternal instinct is very strong. She joined Mobius to be closer to Lily. And the word experiment is a bit harsh. Lily was treated well, and she was able to interact with her mother on a daily basis. As hmm. far as telling Lily you were dead, I believe Myra only did it to protect Lily's feelings. Aww. Yeah, well... I believe Myra's maternal instinct has gotten a little bit out of control. Seems that way. You can work this all out as a family when this is all over. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I think uh, my flamethrower hungers for flesh. I've been into Theodore's reality. If it's a reflection of his psyche, he's definitely got some serious mental issues. That would explain why he's so powerful. And yet he's hiding. Perhaps it's easier to manipulate from the shadows. Well, I'm about to drag him out of the shadows. If what Liam told us was true. There's only one way to find out. What about you? Are you with us or against us? Because uh, my flamethrower and all that. I don't know if you should be in here when this thing goes off. I don't think I want to be. There were some interesting items in the other room that Liam was working on. I want to go check and see if there's anything that might be useful. Okay. But then you should get back to your safe house. No telling what will happen in here once we shut this thing down. Will do. Uh, that's it. Not coming with us. Not giving her ten questions whether we can trust her. All right. Right. Time for big batter boom. Tell me something, Torres. Let's arm this thing. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over, and it's ready to go when you are. Let's do it. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Yeah, we don't need it, but thank you. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. Danger close comes to mind. <laughs> Are you okay, Torres? Um, I th think Where'd we're you? somewhere else now. Ooh. Sebastian Castellanos. You refused to step into the darkness. So you tried to bring me to the light. Precisely. Your 
rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then, I await you. Bring it on, little man. Oh, we fighting him now. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, wise up, Sebastian. I don't think this is all it's... Oh, hello. Cracked up to be. Hey, buddy. Come on. There we go. Thanks, matey. Give me your brain juice. And there we go. We have enough for our upgrade. Sweet. Now we just need a mirror. Hey, buddy. You gonna get up? Guess not. But you're gonna get up. Oh, you've got an axe too. Come on, my friend. We can be axe brothers. Or well, we could have been if you didn't die. Right. Well, uh, give me your axe. Do you have some gel for me? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your contribution is much appreciated. Oh, man. This is gonna be a bit of a crazy place. So can I have some bullets please? What is that? Hang on ammo pouch. Noise. Very noise. Let me guess, we don't have a map for this area. Yeah. Alrighty, well. We can hold more bullets for the handgun. If we can ever even dream of getting that many bullets. Let's heal up. Now. Oh, hello there, buddy. Oh, you have an axe. You all have axes. This is so much fun. Yoink. Gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. Oh, you don't have an axe. But that's okay, because I have a gun for you. Only for you, though, mind. Nice thousand gel. I wonder. Might be able to preserve our axe here. Oh, hello. You don't have an axe. This doesn't please me. Because I don't want to waste my axe on you, my friend. Oh, these guys take... Nope, they take one stab. That's cool. I thought for a minute he might be a two-stabber. Gunpowder. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, this is ominous. I guess we've already been here. Can't really waste a precious bullet. Lily's voice. Oh, okay, yeah. Whoa. Oh, you have an axe. That's a happy coincidence. And you have an axe. Man, this is way too much fun. We're having illegal amounts of fun here, aren't we, Sebastian? I feel like an axe murderer that's just gone rampant in the woods. It's a good warming feeling, you know? Okay, we've come to the edge of the abyss. Right. Nice river of blood as well. Really like the, uh, the decor around here. Very nice. Now, let's sneak up on this gentleman and give him a bit of a stab. Hey there, pal. Let me help you with that. Alrighty. I believe our work here is almost done. Oh. 
That's not uh, very pleasant, is it? Oh, damn, that's cool. That's really cool. <coughs> Creepy, but cool, you know. Anything here? I get the feeling that there's probably somewhere a key statue, but we just don't have the ability to find it. Oh well, onwards and upwards. Onwards and indeed upwards. This is uh, very cool, I must admit. I really like it when all the enemies have axes. Because there's something supremely satisfying about using them. Something sounds big. Let's go investigate. Oh, you. You guys are fairly straight forward to kill, which is nice. Do you have an axe? You don't have an axe. But I have a gun. Oh, hello. Alright, calm down. You can have my axe. Good God, these guys. So demanding. I see what they mean by the accuracy on this thing. It's not too bad. But that definitely should have hit. Now, question we need to be answer asking ourselves is do we have any other pistols with bullets? Yeah, we got the standard one. Better than nothing. I wish we could take the ammo out of this. But it's oh 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 sneaky buggers look at that all right pal all right all right calm down right give me that there we go that's efficiency for you now can I have your axe thank you very kind. Now the way the water flashes makes me think there's items about. It's kind of misleading in a way. Ah, stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Well. We will take it. Because we definitely like our handgun bullets around here. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, we haven't even tried the crossbow yet, have we? And by trying the crossbow, I mean our new ammo. <coughs> so let's give it a whirl. Now, yep, that's pretty damn good. It's certainly much better than the original uh, crossbow ammo. Yep, quite happy with that, I can assure you. Quite a lot of fun to use. Oh, hello. Burnt page from Summit to Freedom 2. What is freedom? 
it's a word and a concept, rife with individual meaning, yet utterly meaningless in the scope of time and space. We are compromised of atoms. Each atom is a, uh, has a central nucleus that is orbited by electrons. The space between these elements is vast. We are mostly made of nothing. A hard fact to accept. But there is power in this knowledge. There is opportunity in its um, acquiescence. There is strength in surrender, as long as you're willing to submit to freedom. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Can we... Why can't we pick those up? That's interesting. They are just the normal harpoon bolts, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's kind of interesting. That's alright, buddy. You can burn. Whoa! Knocked him out. I am such a... F no, stop changing ammo. I am such a fan of this thing. So I guess not only does it do like massive amounts of extra damage, it uh, now burns them as well, which is really nice. Not nice for them, of course, but nice for us. This really is a crazy place of twisted torment. I'm kind of okay with that. Ah, Dad, Mum. Isn't that totally adorbs? Ooh, hello. Definitely on the right track here. These have got to be memories. Memories of home life. Oh, is that a... Oh, it's a little baby stroller. Uh huh. I see. And here we have the bedroom. Oh, that's harsh. That's a little bit unfair. No. No, this isn't right. My receding where you fail. You refused to listen. You lost them both. And then became lost yourself. Yeah. You know anything about me. Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission. By joining. That's not good. Oh, that's a little bit unfair. Theodore, you're certainly going to burn for this. We're going to enjoy making you burn. Come on. Oh, hello. Haven't seen one of you for a while. Open wide. <laughs> See if just like... Completely spack out there. That was great. Okay, well, more shotgun shells. More gel. And we tried so hard to get 7,000, well, 75,000. And now we're at 75,000. We're just breezing past it. We're on 80,000 brain gel. There you go, buddy. It's not going to help you much. You're dead. You just don't know it yet. There you go. Now, you don't have an axe. But I don't want to keep wasting. 
all of my uh, good stuff. All of my bolts. Not on these guys. Definitely digging this whole river of blood thing. I'm quite the fan. Yes, 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 yes. You have an axe. Means I now have an axe. See how that works? Burn, please. Thank you. And I also have your green gel. Which is very nice indeed. Oh, almost. Almost missed that. Alrighty. This is so weird. Look at these, like, oil derricks. Mining the stuff. So weird. In a really cool way. You know, the Evil Within always has had a bit of a fascination with blood. Even the first game. Blood everywhere. Big rivers of it. Kind of, uh... Kind of okay, I suppose. A little bit overdone, I think. Hello. Oh, you've got an axe. That makes this nice and easy. Can I have your axe, please? You know, you know the deal. One for one. Almost like sub for sub, except not. Because sub for sub is silly. Hello. Burn. What? You are regenerating. That is not fair. Lucky for you, my fire lasts for an eternity. <clears throat> wow, we've almost got like 10,000 gel in this area. This pleases me. But we still need more. More gel. Oh, fuck. Fuck my ass. That was your last mistake, sunshine. Can't stand the heat, huh? That's okay, I understand. We just made a sterner stuff, aren't we, Sebastian? Either that or we have uh, unlimited regenerating lives. Ooh. This looks a bit fancy. Ooh, you little son of a bitch. Oh, man. You walked yourself right into that one. Right, buddy, you better make this good because your mate just brought the farm for you. Ah, you failed. You failed. And if we're going around hunting these things, we better have our shotgun out. Hunting big game tonight. Some might say we're hunting the biggest game. Gunpowder and more gel. Lovely. Just what old doctor ordered. Anything else? Yeah, this guy must have a really dark, fucked up uh, imagination. If that's what he's uh, dreaming about. Really, herbs. Dreaming about herbs. Were well, you going to fail a drug test, doctor? Right, let's go. Very much doubt there's anything through there. Ooh, look at this. This looks quaint. Well, there is some uh, worth in becoming too late. Or coming too late, I should say. Of course. I, I do. I, I 
need to find her. Yes, we do. You're going down, Theodore. You're going down in a violent and horrific fashion. Lily? Is it really you? Probably not, Sebastian, let's be honest. It's probably some horrible monster. Lily. Precious daughter, isn't this what you wanted? Dad, you let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No, please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. Oh man. <laughs> oh shit. That was dark. That was incredibly dark. Those robes you're wearing, matey. Look very flammable. Unless you join me. Do that, and I can make your dreams come true. Together we can take Lily from my life. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. It will take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? Oh no! You sh shot me! Why? No. No. no way. No freaking way. You... <laughs> Come on, man. I'll get you out of here. Did we actually shoot her? I guess we did. Uh, look alive, man. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Really don't want her to die. You can't let him get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Myra? I really hope we didn't shoot Torrance. Search the house. Right, anyway, guys, that's going to have to wait for the next video, I'm afraid, because we are out of time. So, hmm, interesting stuff. Uh, he's still trying to get us to join. His robes are looking extra flammable now, especially as we have a flamethrower. And did we shoot Torres? I really hope we didn't, because she's a pretty cool character. Hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time. <laughs>